I would like to talk to you today about the Sabbath, divine rest for human stress. But before that, I would like to invite you for a word of prayer, as I would like to share this from the Word of God. Father in heaven, just bless us all as we listen to your words. Use me, use my mouth, Lord, to inform your people about the good news of the Sabbath. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some stress are good for you. Excessive stress are harmful or is harmful to your health, even fatal. Stress is caused by stimulation, traffic. You know, when you're in traffic and you're in a hurry, you're in a rush, and somebody is slow ahead of you, causes stress. Noise, overload of assignments, homeworks, expectations. Hectic schedule, fear, or either frustrations, anxiety, perhaps failures, and many other things. Stress are, stresses are pressures from someone to someone, from something to something. Barna Group research indicated that 7 out of 10 women say this, that they have too much stress in my life. And also 7 out of 10 adults said they look forward to a lot of having to having a refreshing snooze or sleep. One out of three Americans admitted they are stressed out. Record, this is recorded, the highest recorded for that descriptor in the past five years. On June 2012, I was privileged to be in the holy city of Jerusalem, and I arrived there Friday. And when I arrived there, I was we were in the hotel with my group. I observed that m most of those Jews, they were wearing their best clothes. They were preparing their best meals. They were so jubilant, happy, and cheerful because the Sabbath is about to come. They started Sabbath. From sunset, according to the Bible, Leviticus chapter 23, verse 32, from sunset of Friday to sunset of Saturday. And so I was there, and I was privileged to see how peaceful, how blessed, how restful Jerusalem was. I took this picture overlooking the Mount of Olives, and you could see from behind the uh, Temple Mount, which is the sac one of the sacred sites of the uh, Islam or Muslim uh, people. So I was there on the Sabbath and I walked around going to the place where Jesus in the Garden of Eden and just wonder and, and, and just amazed that for 4,000 years the Jews still keep the Sabbath as a family time. There are many people who say the Sabbath was made for the Jews and I would like to point your mind to what the Bible is saying in Mark chapter 2 Verse 27, the Gospel of Mark, quote from the very mouth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is what Jesus said. The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Jesus said that in the Old Testament, the Sabbath was recorded in Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. And it's clearly stated that God is a God of order. He, he created the first day, and then He ended in the sixth day, where He created man or animals and men. And on the seventh day, he made a special commitment to be with his people, to rest, to be, to, to enjoy the fellowship of his creator, creatures, I mean. In Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11, the people of God, when they left Egypt, they were reminded, and Moses, through Moses, God spoke through Moses, and this was written by the finger of God. And God said, remember, the Sabbath day, to keep it holy, you have six days to work. And on the seventh day, spend time with God. Isaiah chapter 66, verse uh, 22 and 23 clearly says to us that even the new heavens and the new earth, which is in the future, the Sabbath will continue to be observed and kept. Let us go to the New Testament. I took this picture when I was on my way to the Jewish quarters. There are four quarters in the old city, walled city of Jerusalem. 
the, uh, the Muslim quarters, the Armenian quarters, the Catholic quarters, uh, the uh, Christian quarters, and then there is that Jewish quarter. So this Mount Zion gate, this is very historical because you're entering into where tradition believes that David was buried and where the disciples partook their last meal together. And so I entered there. But one thing I, I noticed here when I entered that indeed the Jews were still observing the Sabbath. Remember, I was here taking this picture on that Sabbath. Luke chapter 4 verse 16 tells us that Jesus' custom was, was to read the Holy Torah on the Sabbath day in the synagogue. I happened to visit Capernaum near the Sea of Galilee. And I saw there in the excavation where there is now a, a nice church, the, the, the house of uh, uh, Peter's mother-in-law where Jesus healed after the Sabbath, after the sunset. This is recorded in Mark chapter 1 and 2. And so, and so this, this, sin, uh, this house of, of uh, Peter, mother, uh, Peter's mother-in-law, just a, just a few feet away is the synagogue where tradition believes that Jesus read the Torah. It's reco recorded in Luke chapter 4, verse 16. And also in Luke chapter 23, verse 56, the disciples kept the Sabbath according to the commandment. Acts chapter 13, verse 24. Uh, 42. 44, I mean, even Apostle Paul clearly observed the Sabbath. The Sabbath, friends, reminds us of the creation, the Creator, the Savior, and our future hope. And so, there are three main things that I would like to share, share with you today. The Sabbath is for, for our benefit so that we will be able to live a restful life once a week to restore in us God's image and to recreate. When I was ordained as a minister of the gospel, I remember my mother, when, when I was so young, she would, she would ask me to memorize the Ten Commandments because she told me very clearly the Ten Commandments of God is the character of, of God Himself. And so I tried to memorize this, and before my mother died at the age of 37 because of cancer, she told me, Mark, be faithful to the Word of God and to His commands. And so I... I honored my mother's request just before he died she died I tell God Lord I'd like to dedicate my life to you preaching this good news of the Sabbath and all the other truth from the Bible and so I became a minister because my mother prayed for me and wanted me to be faithful to God for me friends Sabbath is the solution for our stress-filled life because Sabbath is peace Sabbath is rest and in fact it was given by the God who says that He is love. First John 4, 7 and 8. God is love. May the good Lord bless you today as you continue to have a restful day with God. Thank you.